So after a couple of months break from round two, we move to Weatherby, to Pateley Bridge for round three of the British Championship. Here we are in practice, you can see riders going everywhere. Bit of a fast really. You can be balancing in the bit section and all of a sudden someone's tapping you on the back, telling you to move on. Once again, major fettling going on. Steve there looks like he's having a new set of forks. Well, we've started the morning as, as friends. Let's hope by four o'clock tonight, you're still friends with the observers. OK? Enjoy your day out. So after the words from the Chief Marshal, we go on to section one with Wayne Braybrook. Very easy opener just to get things rolling. Here am I, having one of my rare cleans of the event. In fact, of the year, I should imagine. Andy Huddleston. Fighting it there. Determined not to put those feet down. He also has a nice clean to start his day. Section two. Got Steve Colley here. Tricky hazard, this one's very, very slippery on these rocks. <laughs> to get the front wheel up from there was a big effort. Steve, no worries. Andy Cripps there, number 12. Just studying how it should be done. The whistle just going. Just making sure a lot of marks are lost on this end piece here. Steve looks at those flowing. And he wants to repeat that performance he had in the Vic Boys. Number three, Robert Crawford. Nicely done. Appreciated by the crowd. Just the same there by Dougie. So everybody looks to have a good start. John Shirt Jr. For me, I thought this was one of the best British Championships of the year. Took a lot of marks off the winner, but a lot of sections were capable for all the riders to attempt. Shirley there just taking the prod. Scooter man. Virtually riding on his back door. So he'll have an army of supporters cheering him on. Doug's got good memories of this venue. This is where he took his World Championship win last year. And he wants to continue that success. Back with Robert. On one of the three hazards right at the end of the, the lap, right at the car park. Very good place for all the spectators to see the action. So another zero there for Robert. On to Grey Hammer.
quite a spectacular section this one big rock step to start with and now this piece is coming to the same ending they had in the world round doesn't look anything from here doesn't look anything when Graham rides up it so I'll keep my mouth shut Stevie Saunders ace ride there on to Dan Clark he had a change in machinery halfway through the year went from his Montessa to his Eurotech beater As you, as you can see, having some mega rides, but still getting used to the bike. Steve not quite getting it right. If he can get away with just that one, though, he'll be quite happy. Nice. Back with Adam on that step I was on about, just showing you it's not as easy as it looks. And here's Doug, the man who was unstoppable today. Was given a good run though by Graham. But Doug taking the win and putting his championship hopes back on course. He's looking pretty happy. Steve getting his third place trophy there and Graham taking the runner-up position. Uh, obviously I've ridden really well today apart from two sections. Uh, I fired the second section twice and then on section five I had two fives as well but I've ridden well everywhere else really just a couple of slack ones but I'm happy with my result because I was behind after the second section all day until the very last lap, so everything's gone all right and I'm back at the top of the tail, which is an important thing. Mm -hmm.